Hi, this is Mark J. Freeman from AfterBuzz TV here on the red carpet at the 46th Annual Daytime Emmy Awards with Christoph Christos Andrews, correct? Yeah, that's right, <laughs> Christos. It's fine. It's an unusual name. I'm sorry. I apologize. Um, so I was actually doing my research on the people that were going to be here tonight, and I have to say, and I'm not making this up, I was like kind of taken back a couple of times reading your your stats and your info about you. I was like, this sounds like a very interesting person. Uh, Guinness World Record holder, world record holder, and you like punching machines, I saw. Is this correct? Am I reading correctly? I admit you're <laughs> reading correctly. <laughs> I when I first read punching machine, the I said punching like, machines though. <laughs> Oh, three That's so funny of PR to like throw that in there. <laughs> That's so funny. Yeah, through some hooligan nights, you know, like yeah. with buddies, like my actor buddies, and we all, you know. Hey, let's do something that's like, you know, hooligan-ish, bro. Right. Let's just go hit a punching machine at the bar. <laughs> and uh, it just so happened that I, you know, it, it the numbers broke on yeah. my hits a few times, and I was just lucky that it happened. I don't know what it is, but. So you're not just famous on the carpet. You're famous in bars, which some people might say is more important. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, on a especially in level. this town. <laughs> yeah, on a nice like keeping it real, like right. gritty level. <laughs> Ear to the streets. We're yeah. trying to relate to the people. We're yeah. trying to relate to the people. That's so, cool. but back to the the awards. And I also read, and I, I don't know if this is still the fact, but you're the only person to man to win producing and an acting Emmy. Is this correct? Thank you so much. As far as I, yeah. as far as PR last uh, sort of uh, told me, yeah, that's yeah. true. Yeah, I don't. It's been true for a little bit. Uh, actually, kind of recent, but I'm really grateful for that. That's yeah. like. I'm, it's a very honorable thing. I'm humbled by the acknowledgement of that. Right. And would you, I mean, I know those are two big hats in this town. I mean, is screenwriting, directing, are those any, are those other things that you might be interested down the road? Uh, yes, 100%. I felt like when I entered this realm, uh, not to sort of, I mean, I'm 100% committed to this craft yeah. of acting, but I do enjoy everything about this realm we're in. I enjoy the creative aspect of things. In fact, it allows me to attach my own energy to my acting uh, by sort of understanding the behind the scenes more, having a more overall bird's eye on the process, and being able to lock into the depth, the, the uh, through line on all of it, helps the sort of snippet of the acting during production right. carry the most weight. So it's gratifying for me, and yeah. I'm grateful to be in doing, yeah, the acting, the producing, and uh, even the, the directing. Yeah, I said I've, I've spoken to several people who are nominated for digital series, and I said, you know, I, I went on and I was watching some clips from stuff to familiar myself myself with a lot of the shows that I didn't know. I do know The Bay. Um, but I felt like a lot of the digital shows, to me, just seemed like they had a little more heart. Like there was a reason, it's like they're done out of a passion and they're done out of a need to want to tell a story. Do you feel the same way? 100%. I mean, it's uh, it's definitely a family environment. Uh, the Bay is a family. Mm -hmm. And it, of course, you, you start off on the getting acquainted level, mm -hmm. but not too long before we kind of establish this having each other's back feeling. Right. And that comes down to the scenes and my co-stars and everyone's kind of having each other's back. We shoot it like single camera, so you flip around and the actor will be there. Right. Jade Harlow, Karuchi Tran, Lily Melgar, Ron Moss, Mary Beth Evans, everyone who I've worked with on the show, have, they've had that sort of back for me, and I have that in return. Right. And each and every step of the way that we see that in each other, we gain more love for each other. And I feel that the product comes out a certain way because of that. Right. I want to give a special like nod to Gregory J. Martin, our creator, the show is his baby. Um, and then Wendy Rich, who he partners with on the writing, and they're both EPing together. I love working with them. Amazing people. They have, they understand a great arithmetic tick to the heart that we connect on, and I enjoy facilitating that uh, as as the actor that they're writing for. That's so wonderful. And I, you know, for people, I mean, this town is just, it's just starving artists after starving artists. What, as somebody who's been successful as, as both a producer and an actor. What advice, what, what's that one little tidbit of advice you would give them to get to be on this side of the carpet? I would say it's all about establishing from the inside first mm -hmm. and then outward. Yeah. And like a way that entering this field, it's uh, 
the rejection vibes are automatic. They're yeah. they're all part of the process. It's almost to test your own spirit's strength in it. Mm -hmm. Like if there is a force beyond our comprehension, of course there's going to be a vetting process for right. something you feel you want. But how much are you connected to the not even aggressive way of right. of being patient enough and strong enough to just roll with the punches, roll with the punches and continue on and find the deeper gratification for it beyond any future anticipation of right. fame or fortune. If you're on that, that's going to leave you a bit empty in what you're doing. If you find the gratification in the craft itself, which is literally the art of being human, it's literally stepping into one pair of shoes at a time to therefore expand yourself and your awareness, your understanding towards others. Right. That's how I feel it is, the ultimate form of empathy, but in a way that's just a gratifying ride. That's my gratification in it, regardless. So I feel like that keeps me grounded. So if you enter it with that sort of an understanding, that, that'll that keep your center of gravity for everything to build on. That'll keep it very strong. Yeah. I think that's wonderful advice, and it's clearly worked for you. And I wish you all the best this evening. Well, pleasure meeting you. I was afraid you might punch me, with, since you like the punching machines. I was like, I got to be on my best behavior with this one. <laughs> wonderful meeting you. Wonderful meeting you. Take care. See you soon. Thank you. <laughs> Hi, I'm Mark J. Freeman from AfterBuzz TV here on the red carpet at the 46th Annual Daytime Emmy Awards.